time to pack guys today i would like to talk about the new uh, uv packing engine with the new blender version 3.6 and we have three new features i would like to test in my personal blender file uh, the first one is the, the the packing itself as you can see uh, on the left side we have the older version and the right side the new one as you can see, you can get a better use of the USB, so you can improve the texture density, and it's a really, really uh, an amazing improvement. The second one is that you can pin a UV island and position that UV island wherever you want. For instance, you can uh, you can pin a face of your character in the top left corner, and Blender will pack everything around that island. And the third one is that you can tack UV islands together and blender will pack everything but will keep both islands in the same place or both uv islands uh, together so let's test all these new features with my blender file here i have this robot this is the previous uh, packing system as you can see there is a lot of waste in the uv space like in this situation or in this other situation so let's pack everything together but with the new packing system and i will show you the difference so select everything remember to select all the uv islands then go to uv pack islands uh, be sure to have this option selected exact shape the, with this option you're, you're gonna have you're gonna get the the best result and then just press ok and let's see the difference between the previous one and this one as you can see it's a lot of difference a uh, blender is uh, filling the holes like in like here and it's using a lot uh, better the UV space so you're gonna have a better texture density with exactly the same UV space and yeah, I'm going to show you also how you can pin something and place uh, a UV island wherever you want. For instance, here, press P to pin that UV island. Then select everything again. Go to UV, pack islands, select lock pinned islands. So the, uh, that UV island will stay in the same place and all the rest of the UV islands are going to be arranged around the pinhead island. So let's see how Blender performs. And there you go. We have the pin island here and the rest of the UV islands arranged around it. So let's see the third situation or the third uh, new future. Here I, I have this object this object is the same as this one and they have the same uv and i'm going to show you uh, where is the uv island here this uv island if i select this one and i move it you're gonna see that they are two uv islands exactly the same uv islands in the same uh, position because they they are both objects they are the same so if you want to improve the uv space or the texture density and you have a lot of objects but they are all the same maybe you can stack the uv islands and uh, improve the uv space or the texture density that way so in order to do that select everything go to uv pack islands and select this option or turn on this option merge overlapping so blender will find these uv islands that are overlapping and they uh, blender will uh, keep both together so uh, this is the uv island so i'm going to select it so you can see that blender is maintain it's maintaining both together so these are the new features about uh, Blender 3.6 new UV packing engine. 
I think they are really, really amazing. I'm really happy with the Blender developers as always, but with these new features, uh, they, are, they are great. I have a question for you guys. If you have any UV add-on to recommend me, I'm looking for a UV add-on to improve the, uh, use it for rectifying some edges, maybe something similar to Hedus UV layout. So if you if you have any free add-on, free UV add-on to recommend me, uh, I would like to test it. Uh, thank you and see you next time.